Hi everyone, it is that time of the year again and I am so excited because who's ready for the November planning and stationery box? Because I know I am as someone who has used the spiral planner year after year for various reasons, it is a staple in my planning system. So let's take a look. I have a few sneak peeks here. So let's take a look and let me give you my first impressions of some of these amazing items from the November planning and stationery box. Let's go ahead and dig right in and let's see what I have. So I've already removed everything from the cellophane. I didn't want to waste any time with that. Let's get started first with the some of the accessories. So the first item I have here are these arrow flags, which are transparent. These will be a perfect addition to my already collection, um, growing collection of spotlight and match stick page flags. These are perfect for anything from marking your page to highlighting an event on your task. If you're reading, these are great for marking out specific text in a textbook, anything like that. Um, we also have arrow flags in matte. So these are perfect. This is kind of like a, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, but this is kind of like a grayish matte or a grayish palette so you have like a light gray medium and then a dark gray they match very well with these so these are going to be perfect and i'll show you once i get to the planner how you can use them in your planner so the second item we have are these semicircles in the manuka color which is almost like a mustard color these are absolutely gorgeous i love these now these are very tiny as you can see these would be great for marking off items on your task list just adding a little pop of color and god we get so many we have 80 of the small ones which are these i think these are the small ones yeah 56 medium 30 large and then 20 extra large so let me pull those out that would be the medium the large and then the extra large you could even make these into like side tabs if you wanted to label you know some of your pages or your dividers we'll take a look at that in more detail when i open up the planner and then this item here is one of the things that i was looking most forward to when it was um, shown a little while ago on instagram this is so freaking cute i don't know about you guys but i love a good aesthetically pleasing journal card or you know just some type of accessory just to make my planner just fun and inviting this reminds me of a receipt if cloth and paper sent a receipt with every order i would have a gazillion i absolutely love this so it has like some of the essentials heirloom leather folio 2024 weekly insert espana spiral left bound notepad this is so cute and creative and it says old world new things and it's it feels just like a a very hefty receipt so this is super cute i would actually love to see more of these in future boxes the next thing we have is something that i know a lot of people have been asking for in terms of you know our spiral planner our notebook are dividers so in the november box we're going to get a today top tab this month top tab and then this week top tab so you can use all three you can use one at a time you can use a combination of two however you want you have endless options of how to separate divide organize your information in your spiral planner so without further ado let us let's get into the main event this is one of my favorite items from cloth and paper every year year after year for the last I don't know, maybe four or five years, I have been incorporating this spiral planner into my planning system, some sort of way, form or fashion. So let's take off the belly band, which has all of your information on it. So it has your, um, the information for the spiral in terms of the layout, the size, and then of course on the back, just a little information about the company. First things first is you notice that we have a new cover. So the previous planners of course had like the crystal clear cover with the spiral coil this one is more in line with the notebooks the espana notebooks that are now in the shop you have this flat surface here if you wanted to label this for like archiving into the you know for next year you could put on here the year you could put label label this with something like what you're using it for school family personal anything like that or you could just leave it blank so when we open it up you have this 
cover page with IV, which is, is this four? I'm not good at Roman numerals, y'all, but I think that's four for 2024. We have this gorgeous photography um, for next year that is in, you know, all of our inserts. And then your standard year at a glance. You have your information page here with the holidays and then the conversion table here at the bottom. This beautiful text that covers, I think this is for each month. Yep, each month has a different text um, with a different, I'm assuming these are quotes from the author here. And then of course we go into our overview page for each monthly. You have your goals, important your intentions, and then a build due category here. You have your to-do list on this front page. I like to use this kind of like a, I guess a trigger list for, you know, items that you want to remember to do for the month but you don't necessarily you know want to plan for them just yet you just want to remember to plan for them then you have your standard monthly layout this is a monday start so which is my favorite because i love to start my week on a monday and i like my weekends together nice full boxes the boxes can incorporate some of the square page flag stickers or sticky notes then you have another to-do list on this side a mini calendar for the previous and the upcoming month turn over into the next page you have your notes pages and then you go right into your weekly so the layout a lot of people were wondering it is the horizontal layout which is one of my absolute favorites because you can do so much with this it is so versatile if you're using this for like home or work you can do home stuff on this side work stuff on this side if you're doing it specifically for personal reasons you can do events and tasks or events and appointments you know anything that is timed on this side then use this side as your built-in checklist because you can just write out your to-do list check things off as they come then on the second page you have a running to-do list that you can write out like maybe a shopping list for the week a to-do list for things that you want to get done but you don't necessarily have a specific day in mind that you can plan for them um, you have your checklist here i like to use this area as my next week box so you know anything that i know i have coming up for next week that i don't want to forget i'll write it here and then you have another little note area here with the upcoming or with the current month in the bottom right hand corner there so this layout continues all the way through the end of the planner and i think in the back let's see after december you have additional notes pages you also have a few pages for contacts and then that is it so everything is blank you have your cover now one of the other good things about this is that it goes into your your heirloom folios perfectly so right now in my heirloom folio i have one of the espana notebooks so again as you can see it is the same design so it, this would fit perfectly inside of that let's go in and add our top tabs Let's see, so we have this month. I normally put my, in my current planner, I have a page marker, a half page marker. So I normally put it in the middle so that when I open up my planner, I go straight to my month at a glance. And then I can use this, I like to use this for like sticky notes. Personally, I think I would do a today for the current week. And then I would mark off upcoming week with the today or the this week marker. So that's that week and I would put this one behind it so that if I had any sticky notes for things that are coming up for next week that I wanted to write down I could put them on this page how cute is that so today then this week which essentially for me would be the following week and then this month absolutely love that so let me show you how you could use some of these so these would be great for if, if you have an event or if you want to write down a task that you don't want to forget you could absolutely highlight the task or the event on this page um these make absolutely great page markers i have used these before like in my textbook so if i wanted to mark off february for example they make great page markers i actually love these or if you wanted something more matte you could use one of these take a look at what some of the semicircles look like if we wanted to use them like either on a monthly spread so these would be great so let's say you wanted to highlight got something going on where is valentine's day valentine's day is over here i love how that looks 
That's so cute. Highlight birthdays, anniversaries. I think I'm gonna use this for highlighting important dates. I like the way that looks. In the past, I've used some of the square page flags or the circle ones. I actually like this one better. Now, one last thing, the pins. Can't forget about the pins. So it looks like, ooh, this is a zebra blend. Ah, this is a zebra blend. We have a friction pilot it's like a highlighter a pilot rex grip 0.05 oh that's like a oh this is a pencil that is a great surprise oh this is a 0.5 roller ball and then a marker so let's take a look and let's see okay so this is a pencil so we all know how a mechanical pencil works but this is a nice surprise this is 0.5 if you like 0.5 in your lead and let's try this one schneider top ball 861 so this is like your needle you know your more fine point needle tip pen and then of course friction oh wait is this erasable say it ain't so an erasable highlighter this is the first time i've ever had one of these love it and then this is a twin marker. So this is black marker. Let's see if there's any bleed. It does bleed through. So this is not something you want to use in your inserts. And then the zebra blend. So we take off the little protective cap. Ooh. Oh, y'all. This is fantastic. Oh, I love this. Okay, so y'all are going to love the Pinspiration for this month. Absolutely going to love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. Absolutely thrilled with the items that are coming in the November subscription box. This planner in itself is versatile enough for anyone to use it, be it a content creator, want to use it for if you're in school as a student, professionals, or even just simply family planning. You know, you want something to plan out your meals or your kids' activities. You know, the options are endless. So, you know, not only will this help you, you know, plan and organize your day-to-day, -day, the entire box you know is is the perfect gift for someone that you'd like to introduce into planning so you know to help them start the new year off right with classy and sophisticated stationery sign them up give it as a gift you still have time to subscribe now if you're like me you don't want to miss out or fall victim to FOMO for a little razzle dazzle go ahead and sign up for a three or six month subscription you will not regret it trust me so thank you so much you guys and have a great day